All right, guys, uh, what's going on? I wanted today to make a quick video on uh, five bad money habits that you need to quit right now. Obviously, all of you know, we're in a very difficult time right now with everything going on with the virus. And uh, I think a lot of people are gonna look at their financial situation, uh, you know, and hopefully realize that, you know, this is the, perfect example of an event where you really should have your money situation in, in line. You should know what you're doing, what you have, uh, stuff like that. So I just wanted to mention five things that I think uh, you should quit right now. Like no matter what you're doing, you got to stop right now doing them. Um, the first thing is not paying your credit card. Uh, you know, you should pay your credit card in full every month. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that say leave a little bit on, uh, I personally pay mine every month, pay it in full. Uh, I avoid any interest charges that can accrue from it. So I think you should really focus on paying that every month and stop racking up debt, stop racking up the personal credit card debt that, you know, you've been putting off for months at a time or even years, uh, which, you know, which I've seen a lot. Uh, number two is keeping up with the Joneses, right? I think a lot of us, and I've definitely done this in the past, uh, you know, I currently don't do any more, but when I was younger, I did is, is buy things to impress people. Right. I mean, you know, if, if you're older now and you're still buying things to impress people, I mean, come on. Right. I, I think there's more of a, a root issue there that you need to figure out what's going on, but it's okay to have nice things. I'm not saying it's it's wrong to have nice things, but don't buy nice things uh, because you want to impress someone else, right? And most of the time, those you know are people that you don't even really care about that are in your life that you want to impress. So, I think it's buying the things that that make you happy, that bring value to your life, that that help others. That's the stuff that you should really spend your money on. Is is the stuff that you enjoy doing, the stuff that brings you your happiness. Uh, number three is not having a budget. So I think budgets are, are really, really important. I think you need to have a budget in line uh, all the time, uh, not analyzing it you know, 24 seven every day of the week, but you should know how much money you're bringing in every month. You should know how much you're spending, what you're spending it on, those reoccurring bills that you have every month, like student loans, like a car payment, like a car insurance, like a phone bill, all those things that are monthly bills that are coming in every month. You should know off the top of your head in like 0.5 seconds what that amount is. Uh, seriously, like no questions asked. Like you, Everyone should know that amount uh, because then you're gonna have kind of a better idea after you pay yourself, after you save or whatever you're doing. Uh, how much is going towards those expenses and where the rest of it's going. I've, I've kept a budget on an Excel file. Uh, you know, I, I, I write it down sometimes even, but mainly an Excel file, I, you know, and I update that monthly. I mean, most of my reoccurring bills are, you know, they stay the same. Uh, what really fluctuates for me is food every month. Like some months I'm spending more on food in the grocery store. I'm eating out more but I have that number that I want to save each month. And, you know, once I hit that number, then I spend the rest. Right. So number four is not having an emergency fund. Uh, you definitely need some type of emergency fund and, and this is cash, right? Uh, it's something that you're going to put in a savings account that's earning interest. Uh, it's not money in the market in your investment accounts. This is just cash, right? So perfect example of a time going on right now, right? Uh, I'm very thankful and, you know, I've talked to people about this as well that, you know, have some cash to the side because uh, God forbid you lose your job right now and you have all your money in the market and you have absolutely no cash. Like the market's been down. Yeah, it came up today, but you need to have at least like six to nine months worth of expenses of cash in an account that's not affected by the market. It's a savings account. It's earning interest. Uh, I use Barclays. Uh, I forget what the interest rates at right now, like 1.6 something, I think. I don't really know. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but that earns interest, uh, you know, every month. Uh, and, you know, the more money you have in there over a year's time, it could be, you know, a couple, several hundred dollars. So that adds up. 
but that's money that's not affected by the market. And, you know, there, there's many different savings account uh, you can go with. Don't go with the traditional bank because you're going to earn like 0 0.02 interest, 0 0.01. It's, it's just stupid. Just do something else. Do a savings account with like a Barclays, like an Ally, uh, one of those guys. Um, and the fifth thing is just not saving for retirement, right? Uh, I don't know what everyone's financial situation is out there, but you know, there's going to reach a point one day where you're going to turn 59, 60, and you might not want to work anymore. Um, who knows? You don't know what's going to happen years down the road from now. Who knows what the economy is going to be doing? You know, you may own a business, you may want to sell that business, you may, whatever, you don't know. But as long as you're putting money towards some type of retirement account every month, whether that be your, you know, your works 401k, an IRA, a Roth, uh, whatever that may be, you should seriously start putting some money towards that uh, every month. You know, even if it's not the amount that you want to or you think you're supposed to, is as long as you're putting money in those accounts, uh, it's a good thing, right? And and it's it's better than not putting anything in there. That's that's what I'm trying to get at. So, those are just the five things uh, that I think that you know people need to look at, and you know they they should start doing those things um, that I mentioned, um, such as paying off your credit card, putting money in a retirement account, having a budget, and you know creating some sort of emergency fund. So. That's about it, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it, and uh, talk soon.